how to omegle correctly. When it comes to optimizing your omegle experience, you have to know what you're getting yourself into, what you're gonna see, and then talk about what objectives you can have, you know, trolling, debating, chilling, practicing your Riz game, whatever it is. I can't really say I'm proud of this, but I have hundreds of hours on Omegle. Just go look at all my Omegle videos, I have like hundreds of them, and each one took at least an hour to film. I mean, it's bad, man. I mean, brain cells are on a steady decline. I was born in Argentino. I mean Argentina. Dude, I'm literally tripping. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like. Helps me out a lot. If you don't, go ahead and drop a dislike. It's totally up to you. I rarely pull out the receipts like this, but dude, look at this. That's stupid. Come on, guys. So you guys know what to do. Subscribe, turn on notifications, join the kingdom. Let's get right into this. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm King Judah. This is not my normal setup, all right? I just moved in. It looks pretty lame. I got a couple ideas how to spice it up, but I, I kind of just look like a, you know, actually, I kind of look like a creepy old dude on Omega, which transitions me perfectly into the types of people that you will find. You're gonna find some old dudes, okay? 95% of the time, they're just sitting there holding their pickle with their little sausage fingers just waiting for freaking underage girls. It's bad, man. <laughs> That's like the majority of people on Omegle. So this is this is your warning. If you guys have watched my Omegle videos, I just call them out. I, I'm just like, dude, what are you doing, man? All right, you're 45, you have two kids. It's so bad too, because there are, there are kids. There are kids on Omegle. And I, I don't know, I don't know why they go on here. Honestly, I feel partially responsible. I feel like every single time I hop on Omegle, there's also like some 10 year old like, hi there, hi. I'm always just like, dude, just just get off of this website, man. Like, why, why are you on here? You're 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 like nine years old, okay? When I was nine, I was playing with Legos, okay? I'm not an Omega, all right? When you run into these kids, you got a couple options. Number one, tell them to get off the website, okay? Most likely, they're not gonna listen because they're freaking kids. Option number two is grab their IP, look up what school district they live in, go to the school website, go to the directory, find the kid. Find the kid's name, look it up on Facebook, contact the kid's parents, send her a dick pic and say, hey, get your kid off of Megal. That That's what I would do at least. That leads me perfectly to number three, the weird dudes. I've had so many good conversations with random dudes on the internet. I, I love it. But there are also a lot of thirsty dudes that are just like, they're, they're just there for the thoughts, man. They're there for the e-girls. And um, listen. I don't blame them, but my god, like, you, you did not pass the vibe check, dude. They're the weird kids. They're the weird kids, you know? And, and listen, I'm, I'm not the most normal dude in the world. In city was Mavia. But, like, jeez. Now for the girls, okay? There's two types of girls, though. There's the e-girls, and there's the e-thoughts. The e-girls on Omegle are the types that, like, we want, alright? It's the gamer girls, you know, the cute, they're funny, you know, they actually have a personality. They don't have fake vines behind them. They can hold a conversation, but, you know, they're a little bit awkward. I don't know, just, like, e-girls. We all love them. The e-thoughts, on the other hand, they're just looking for attention, okay? They're attention whores. They're on there acting like a 10 out of 10, but in reality, they're just like a 6 or 7. But, you know, they might look a little bit better on Omega because it's all, like, blurry and shit, you know? Oh, and these girls are perfect targets for trolling, dude. You can mess with them. They're usually blonde, too. You know, no shame. You know, I, I like myself a good blonde every once in a while. But, like, they're just dumb. <laughs> they're, they're just dumb e-thoughts on Omega. When you see them, you'll know. Okay, if they were old enough, they would have an OnlyFans, that type. No, 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 get this, get this. They're the type of people that they wouldn't have an OnlyFans, but they'd post like really, really spicy pics on Instagram and then throw their like cash app in their Instagram bio or something. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Speaking of trolling, this is where Omegle shines, all right? You can go on Omegle for tons of different reasons, different objectives. You can have different personalities. You can you can you can make your Omega experience whatever you want it to be. Obviously, there's an infinite amount of personalities and objectives to go on Omega, but the four main ones for me are trolling, debating, practicing Riz, and just hanging out, just chilling. So first of all, trolling on Omega. That's my thing. If you guys have watched my videos, I just love trolling, messing with people, making jokes, roasting them on Omega, pranking them, all that good stuff. I love it. I think it's fun. I think it's entertaining. And at the end of the day, 
you're just a couple clicks from never seeing that person ever again, which just makes it even funnier. And trolling in and of itself has like different types of trolling, you know, like a recent one I did was trolling feminists, you know, where I kind of like attack them for their beliefs. There's also trolling where like you always deny the girl, especially like those e-thoughts on Omega, you know, you, you, you deny them after trying to pick them up, you know, you can wear face filters on Omega, like all this type of stuff. There's tons of different trolling. That's that's fun. That's fun to do. Another reason people go on Omegle is debating. Believe it or not, one of the most popular Omegle tags is Donald Trump or just Trump. Not because everyone likes Trump, but because people go on there to debate. Along with BLM, that's that's a very popular one as well. Um, debating race, you know, political ideas, all that stuff. I I think that stuff's really entertaining. And um, as a someone who values logic very often. I typically win in those, so that's probably part of the reason I like debating on Omegle, but, but I think most people would find that at least somewhat entertaining. Number three is practicing the Riz, dude. Oh, again, like, I, I basically hit all these in my Omegle videos, but practicing Riz on Omegle is really fun because, number one, like I said before, a couple clicks, you're never going to see them again. And number two, a lot of them are thirsty on there, man. I, I'm, there's not a lot of girls that go on Omegle, right? Obviously, it's like, I would say five or six to one when it comes to like man to female users on Omegle. But when you do get a girl, usually they're pretty thirsty because, you know, why else are you on Omegle? You know, oh, hey, why are you on Omegle? No, I'm just chilling out. No, man, they're looking for attention. They're looking to have a good conversation with a dude, you know? And it's fun to rhythm up. It's good practice. Number four, you just go on there and chill. And, and that's when like the cool dudes show up, you know, you can have a con like a 25 minute conversation with another dude just talking about random crap, you know, going on in your life or school, um, politics, but not like a debate, but just like a conversation about what's going on in your country or whatever, you know, I don't know, a Michael chilling, I don't do it a ton, but that's probably a large percent of people on a Michael are just hanging out just chilling Omegle is just a crazy website in another recent video of mine I showed that maybe I am legitimately getting brain damage from it but I think the fact that Omegle has everything everyone good and bad I I, I think I think it's a gem I, I think it's a gem it's super entertaining that's why I've kind of conquered this niche of Omegle but yeah man you gotta love it you gotta be prepared of what you're gonna see um, not a lot of good stuff, but every once in a while, you know, you'll, you'll meet a cool person, meet a cool girl, whatever. Whatever it is, Omega will have it. <laughs> That's for sure. Racist stuff, funny stuff, absolutely brain shattering stuff, whatever it is, uh, you know, Omega probably has it. I feel like I'm getting paid because I'm saying so many good things about Omega, but honestly, no, it, it, it's not a good website. I, I would not recommend many people to go on it. Um, this is just how to omegle that that's the only way i could title this video so if you guys did enjoy drop a like if you didn't go and drop a dislike totally up to you i'm gonna be honest i don't remember if i even said my name in the beginning of this video but my name is king of judah so i hope you guys enjoy peace